can Afghan national security forces conquer Taliban without coalition support? April 4, 2020. Kabul, Afghanistan. Since the accomplishment of Operation Enduring Freedom, more than 45,000 Afghan National Security Forces and TSF had been killed in Afghanistan, the incumbent Afghan President Ashraf Ani informed masses via a light press conference in January 2019. The fatalities of the Afghan National Security Forces in five years are 13 times higher than that of foreign troops had received in 14 years 2001-2014 during Operation Enduring Freedom. In Operation Enduring Freedom, 3,500 US and NATO combatants were killed. The ground military operation was executed superbly in Afghanistan by the US and NATO ground forces. It was an anti-insurgents military operation designed to depose the Taliban government, dismantle jihadist organizations and install a moderate puppet government. 2014 proved out to be the bloodiest year for international coalition ground forces, therefore, Obama ordered the end of Operation Enduring Freedom, and pulled out entire foreign troops from a combat mission in December 2014. After. Operation Enduring Freedom, NATO started Operation Resolute Support, a non-combatant mission in Afghanistan that is still continuing. Resolute Support Mission is a NATO-led train, advise and assist mission comprising of over 16,000 troops in Afghanistan, which began on January 1, 2015. In the longest war of US history, Americans are not succeeding in stamping out the insurgency. Today Taliban have spread tentacles in all key areas of Afghanistan and their defeat is still one of the difficult conundrum for the world's most advanced armies. Afghan National Security Forces and TSF have been active in ground warfare in Afghanistan since 2002, they have some 180,000 troops largely trained by American, Indian and NATO forces. Objectively. Afghan forces and government want international coalition forces presence in Afghanistan because indigenous forces are incapable of tackling any type of contingency with adroitness. While acknowledging the Taliban superiority over Afghan national security forces Donald John Trump had said after a week of signing the Qatar peace deal that the Taliban could seize power after the evacuation of foreign troops. 2011 was the most dangerous phase of insurgency in Afghanistan, at that time about 110,325 US troops were deployed in Afghanistan to overcome the deteriorating situation in the country. This is an interesting fact that more than 100,000 American forces were unable to contain the tally band to a particular region. When all is said and done, it is almost impossible for Afghan and us lead NATO forces to nip the Taliban in the bud. All Afghans